Hi folks. Recently in Asia there was a conflict or is a conflict going on between two or three nations, specifically two nations. There are a group of islands that are rather contested and they're being claimed by three nations in the area. China, Taiwan, and Japan, all three claim these group of islands. And here's a map showing you the location of the islands. Now you look at the map and you say to yourself, well Japan doesn't look that close to it. Well Japan really is close to it, just as China and Taiwan are, by the mere fact of the placement of Okinawa. Okinawa, that island, is part of Japan. It's Japanese. Look. Alright? So they're all pretty much equally close to the region and all claim territorial rights over the region. So what happened recently was there was two Japanese patrol boats in the area and a Chinese fishing vessel comes sailing by and the Japanese warned them to leave the area. But the Chinese captain ignored the warning and instead, you know what he did, kids? He rammed the Japanese patrol boat. <laughs> what did he think? He was Sea Shepherd? Anyway, well, the Japanese captain did not take kindly to it. So he captured the, uh, the uh, Chinese fishing vessel with the 14 sailors and the uh, Chinese captain, took them into custody. Soon afterwards, the Chinese fishing vessel was released and sent back to China as well as the 14 sailors. And the Japanese are holding on to the uh, captain for further questioning till around September 19th, some, somewhere along the, those dates there. The mistake the Chinese captain made was this. He did not have one of these. You see, when you have one of these, then you can ram a Japanese ship. You really can. And Captain Kangaroo of Sea Shepherd proved that. How many times has he rammed the Japanese fishing vessels and has not been arrested yet for it? He got away with it. So the next time, China, you want to send one of your ships out to ram a Japanese ship, just ask them if they could borrow Captain Kangaroo's <laughs> pretend badge that he claims he has and gives him law enforcement authority. That's all you need is one of these badges. Now there's a big difference between ramming a Japanese patrol boat and a Japanese fishing boat and I really do not intend to make light of the situation. This was just my opportunity to exploit it so I could poke fun at sea shipping. That's me kids, exploiting Tony. But getting back to the severity of the situation, and it really can develop into an ugly situation. Taiwan and China both claim those islands. Taiwan and China are at odds with one another politically because China says Taiwan and China should be one nation, and China and Taiwan are saying, oh no, we should not. The China is not crossing the straits there, the straits of Taiwan, to invade Taiwan because Taiwan has a security agreement with the United States. If they get attacked, we will come to their defense. At the so, it's to the advantage of the Chinese to keep the situation heated, which will endear the Taiwanese closer to them because they both have the same common goal here, and that is sovereignty over those disputed islands. So politically, it's to China's advantage to keep the situation boiling. Now, for Japan, the situation with Japan is, God forbid something happens militarily with those islands, it could involve the United States of America. Because when the United States gave the island of Okinawa back to Japan, we signed treaties between the two nations, where the United States agreed to protect Japanese territorial integrity, including those islands, God forbid a situation should arise. So the situation in, in, in that region over those islands is at a boiling point right now. Let us hope that nothing happens, that China and Japan can get back to the negotiating table over those islands, and we can, where's my badge? 
<laughs> and we can forget about having a badge so you can ram a Japanese ship. All right, folks. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. And God bless the nation you happen to be in. And may there be peace in Asia. See you, folks.